All right, everybody, this is Ross. We've been having some audio difficulties um, recently. And what I had done is I'd filmed an entire video for you guys comparing the fig to the mango. And it's all in the discussion of what is the best fruit in the world. And I talked about just a minute ago <laughs> is that, you know, it's, it's a very difficult comparison to make. You never really will get the best answer for many reasons. It's kind of like talking about what's your favorite, sp or your, the most difficult sport is a very common topic. You know, you need to have, I guess, essentially the most perfect conditions for each fruit. Grown in the most perfect conditions. Also, you would probably want to have them of the best variety in that particular fruit. So if it's a fig, I'd want to have a variety of fig that is probably something like a Col de Dom or a Black Madeira that's perfectly ripe and also grown probably like in Southern California in a very dry and warm place that's been caprified. That's when you're gonna get the best quality of figs. So if you're trying to do that, that discussion and make a good argument, you'd wanna have the best of the best from each fruit and then be able to eat them and compare them, hopefully side by side. So it's quite difficult, at least for me or anybody to be able to ever compare a really well-ripened fig to a really well-ripened mango because they just don't grow in the same place. The fig likes very dry conditions, the mango likes very humid and wet conditions. So it's extremely difficult and the only reason I'm able to do this today with you guys is because a friend of mine had sent me some homegrown and tree-ripened mangoes. This is a variety here called Kent or Keat. I'm not entirely sure, he doesn't know. Um, I have a, a fig here that I just picked and ate the other half of, including the majority of it, called uh, Paradiso from Bode. And uh, basically I concluded in this little tasting that I did that the fig is a superior fruit. And um, unfortunately you didn't get my reaction um you know my my genuine reaction to this whole thing but i did open this this mango get myself some nice nice pieces out of here it's well ripened it's grown in a good climate and i just not that i wasn't impressed but i wasn't overjoyed to eat this fruit as i was the fig and what also st stood out to me was that this fig is grown in, Cal in, uh, in Pennsylvania. This fig isn't grown in the best, most optimal climate possible. This variety of mango, however, probably isn't the best variety of mango possible. Whereas I would make an argument that this fig here is a 4 or 4.5 out of 5 in terms of flavor and texture. Whereas this mango... I'm sure a lot of people could argue, if you could really accurately identify whatever it is, it probably isn't the best mango. It probably is probably somewhere around a three or a three and a half out of five. So there's definitely a difference in where they stand among their different varieties. But regardless of where they stand, I really enjoy this, this mango. Um, to me, it's very refreshing. I'm gonna get like a little piece here. Really nice mango tropical flavor. Complex, it's got some floral notes in there a little bit. It's got a little bit of like, almost like a little bit of a berry note to it. Um, really well ripened. It uh, Let's see, it has some chalkiness in there as well, which is quite strange. I don't know if that's more common in mangoes or not. I don't know how to really describe that exactly or what the right word for that is, but. It's a little chalky, if that makes any sense. Very moist, very refreshing, very sweet, and not very acidic, which is, I find a little surprising. Because uh, I would imagine at least for me, 
if this had more acidity, it wouldn't seem nearly as sweet and it would probably be a lot better of a mango. Um, it reminds me like of a light version of a peach, whereas a, a yellow peach has got similar-ish flavor to it. Not the most similar, but it has that acidity to it. And uh, that to me kind of makes it more of a light, very, very sweet version of a peach. And uh, yeah, I like it. I don't know what else to say about it, really. It's a good piece, it's a good fruit. I enjoy it. It's not very bold, it's uh, more refreshing, not really in your face, more nuanced, more, um, you know. I could eat a lot of these. I could eat probably two or three mangoes in one sitting of this size. It's a pretty big, big size mango. Um, so there's a lot of positives to it. And I give those of you guys out there credit who think this is the best fruit in the world. Um, it could be, I'm not gonna say it's not, but when I, t when I eat these figs, especially one that's as well ripened as this from a really good variety, there's just no comparison. Um, you can even tell in the in the fruit here of the fig is just how is how amazing it is. So you can really see the inside of this and how jammy and gooey and syrupy that is in there. It really coats your mouth and gives you this the most amazing uh, mouth feel. It's very thick. This variety has a very dense pulp to it. It's a lot like eating jam. Um, it's got berry notes to it. It has some melon tones in the beginning, followed by some really complex berry flavors to them. It has actually some acidity, more acidity I would argue than this mango. Um, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. And then it also has, at the end, there's a, a figginess to it, which is what I like to refer to as the dried fruit flavor where you get things like raisins and dates and persimmons and figs, they all have this similar dried fruit flavor to them. And they really, in my opinion, give them a, a huge complexity to the fruit that I really love that. Even like a really well-aged uh, red wine, you'll also find those dried fruit flavors in them, more raisiny type flavors. So I would say, even though this mango it does have some complexity to it, it just doesn't, I think, it pales in comparison to this fig. I mean, my reaction, you should have saw it my face, was basically, we ate the mango first, good, refreshing, nice tasting mango, and then when I bit into this fig, it was like, I'm at the pearly gates or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so, so good, these things. Yeah. There's even some like brown sugar, a little bit of maple syrup in there. I mean, it, it's got a nice berry flavor to it. Um, yeah. But to me, I'm sorry. It's not a fair comparison between this fig and that mango. But this fig is far superior to this mango. Without a doubt. So I think it's an interesting conversation. It's an interesting topic, interesting discussion. Obviously, based very subjective, based on taste. A lot of factors goes into this, as we mentioned. Whether that's the climate, the variety, how ripe it is. I mean, there's so much to this. That it's not going to be ever really the most fair comparison. But I'll tell you... I've had a lot of figs that are better than this mango, and I've had um, a lot of figs that aren't better than this mango. So it does depend on the, the fruit, variety, the time of the year that the fig is ripe. We're now at the height of my season here in Pennsylvania, although this is Pennsylvania, and if I was growing them in Southern California, it's a totally different story. Um, but, you know, as I said, uh, there's other fruits out there that people make an argument for, like the durian. People love stone fruits like the peaches, the nectarines. I have a friend that gets, you know, 40 bricks nectarines. Um, I love the apricot, personally. Um, but actually, my favorite fruit is not even the fig, it's the persimmon. 
Um, I am obsessed with figs, but I'm equally as obsessed nowadays with persimmons, and uh, they're incredibly, incredibly good. Stupidly underrated. Um, so for me, you know, I I would make an argument, obviously, that the mango is probably one of the better fruits you can grow um, and eat that's found throughout the world, but also. I haven't had enough experience with more different varieties of these mangoes. So the more I taste, a friend of mine, as I said, he sent me this mango, tree ripened, homegrown. There's a number of different varieties. I'll try the other varieties and, and see if that can expand my viewpoint on mangoes. Obviously, as I try more of them, try other fruits, we kind of get a better understanding of what's out there besides just figs and persimmons. Um, but uh, yeah, I, you can you can take this to the bank. I would say um, anyone that knows anything about food will tell you that this fig is better than this mango. But small sample size, so yeah. I, if whatever you guys think is your favorite fruit, let me know down below because there's so many fruits out there, and there's some we'll never even get to taste. You got to grow most of them yourself. You're never gonna find them in the store. Um, some of them just don't ship well, and also there's so many interesting varieties and genetics out there. So let me know, guys, down in the comments what you guys think your favorite fruit is. Um, if you've had this direct comparison yourself, uh, where you were growing those fruits, and if it was a fair or unfair comparison. The next fruit I'd love to try is durian. So if anybody has some durian out there that is... Um, really uh, from special varieties, well ripened. Um, I'd love to try some. We're gonna try to find our, get our hands on some I think this year. But yeah guys, thank you so much here for watching this video. Um, I hope that this is gonna give you some perspective I, I think into the world of fruits. We'll see everybody soon, all right? Take care and stay safe out there.